Cooking with Noah. Cooking with Noah. Cooking with Noah. Cooking with Noah today. Cooking with Noah today. Cooking with Noah today. Hi, I'm Chef Noah, and this is Cooking with Noah. And today we're making my favorite type of muffin. Blueberry. I love the sweetness of the blueberries and the fluffiness of the batter, and I just love it all. So, let's get cooking. The first thing that we already did was we sifted some flour into this bowl, and we'll also be sifting everything else here just to make sure that the batter is light, so when it comes out, it will be even fluffier than it was without us sifting it. So since we already added the flour, the next thing we're going to add is sugar, and we don't need to sift it because sugar only starts clumping when you leave it for a little bit, and we just... Um, put that in the bowl, so that's fine. Next thing we have is cornstarch. Then baking powder. Baking soda. And then salt. And then we're just going to sift that. And then we're going to mix that with a whisk. And now that we have finished with our dry ingredients for now, we're going to start on the wet ingredients. So we'll move that aside. Now for the wet. So for the wet, the first thing that we're going to add is some melted butter. Then after we add the butter, we're going to add some olive oil and then we will mix that with our whisk after we whisk that together then we add one egg vanilla extract and then sour cream. Just to make sure we get all that out, we're going to use the spatula we used before. And then once we take everything out of here, we're just going to mix that again with our whisk. Now, blueberry is my favorite muffin. Um, I don't know why, I just find them very delicious. But if you have a different favorite muffin, then you can put that in the comments and I'll try those. So now that we've gotten everything out of there, we're going to mix with our whisk. And after we finish mixing our wet ingredients together, then we're going to add our wet and dry ingredients together. And then once that is almost completely mixed, that's when we'll add our blueberries. So, we're done with that. So now to add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. Now we're going to add it a small portion at a time, just so that the dry ingredients start make, don't start making clumps, because then they will not taste as good as we want them to. So... After you add the flour, that's when we're actually going to move to using a whisk, uh, not a whisk, we're going to move to using a spatula just so that we don't break any of our blueberries and so we can keep them nice and circular so we don't lose any of the juices. We're on the last little bit of our flour, one more should be good. So now we're going to move on to using our spatula because it's starting to clump up and get stuck in our whisk and we don't want to waste any of this good batter. Put that over here. Just keep it safe.
Now, finally, to add our last bit of our dry ingredients. So now that this is mostly mixed together, everything is incorporated, now we will add our amazing blueberries. And then I'll come back to you with our next step in the process. And here we are with the last thing that we're going to do before we put these in the oven. And this is a crumble that we're going to put on top of our amazing looking muffins. You see those bits of blueberries and then the golden dough looks great. So the first thing that we're going to add to this bowl is some softened butter. And then after the butter, we're going to add graham cracker crumbs and then brown sugar. And then we're going to mix that up. Now with this, you want to use your hands because if you use a whisk or a fork, you're not going to get the clumps or crumbs that you really want, which is what we're going for here, so that once you eat it, it just tastes great. So now that that's good, now we're just going to add a little bit of cinnamon. And usually, or sometimes, people put cin oh, not cinnamon. Some pe sometimes people put sugar on top of their muffins. Um, I don't really like the taste that it gives the muffins, so I decided I'd try this, and hopefully it'll taste good. So now that we have finished it, looks great, smells great. We're just going to sprinkle some of this on top of each muffin. And we don't really want a flat thing, like I said. We just want crumbs and clumps so that um, the flavors will melt down like the brown sugar will infuse the muffin with some flavor and it will be amazing delicious so we're just going to put these on all of our muffins and then once I finish doing this that is when we will put our muffins into our 425 degree oven for 8 minutes and then without taking them out we're going to lower the temperature to 350 and bake them for another 10 minutes. So now that we have finished the final step, I will see you for the taste test. And here we are with our finished product of our blueberry muffins. These look so good, smell great, so now let's try. I'm going to start with the red one because that's my favorite color. The juice, as you can see, got into the cup, uh, got into the muffin. So now to try. Mm, this looks good. I really like this. Um, the crumble that I put on top gave it a nice crunch. Small crunch, not too much. Um, the blueberries gave a good flavor. The juice also tasted really good. And these are amazing. I really like them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever a future video comes out. And if you haven't already, please share this channel with your friends so you and they can keep cooking with Noah.